Well, it's conference final time here in the Electro Sports Baseball League, and we're taking on Stardozer Human Resources, who finished the season on 14 and 6, just like we did. Uh, changes to the lineup. Uh, Steve Morrie is in for uh, for Julie Hardware, who's a bit wounded, and uh, that'll that'll get all the Steve Morrie uh, haters agitated, I'm sure. Uh, pitching story. Well, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 I can't remember. Uh, but uh, we've got two. We're down two pitchers. We two pitchers are out. Uh, Disneyland is well and truly out of action at the moment, and. Uh, uh, we'll catch up on them when we start making substitutions. Anyway, uh, pitching for us today is going to be Vivian Crumble, and we'll hopefully, hopefully, something will happen that's positive in nature. Uh, we don't, we don't need anyone. Uh, Jeff, Jeff Conservative's mood is pretty strong right now, uh, and that's that's kind of helpful. Viv, just try and get a couple on target, would you? There you go. That's it. Yeah, yep. Yeah, soak up a couple of fouls. What's she actually good at? Not much accuracy, apparently. Well, the, the current pitch count begs to differ. Ball three? No. All right, try one of these. We'd, she's throwing absolutely everything at this. That one's popped up for Papal. He's, uh, he's going to have to move to get it. There you go. How's that? Okay, this will bring up Bernard Dunk. Uh, all right, okay. All right, nothing, nothing too, uh, too stressful here. Just get the pitches in and hope that the fielding can sort us out. As long as we don't give away too many big old hits then we should be all right. Uh, but uh, don't try and be flashy. You're not a flashy pitcher. Uh, just uh, just try and keep it consistent and on target. Failure. He's moving. He's got it. Out number two. Good. Uh, next up, <clears throat> Party Boy, uh, who is one of the best hitters on the team, uh, according to the Statatron, uh, for, the, uh, for the playoffs so far. Well, that's dangerous. Uh, but there you go. We like to keep him limber. Keep him moving. Uh, make him wonder where the next one's going. Oh, crikey. Viv, if you could land one of these on target, that would be super helpful. Yeah, that one's gone to Zoltan. That'll be a base hit. Okay, well, the way we've been playing so far, that was uh, that was hardly the least likely thing to happen. Justine Underworld up next. Hasn't played so far in the uh, playoffs. Uh, we're in the first game of a three-game series here for the uh, for the conference final, which will of course take us to the big championship, which is where we'd really like to go. Bernard Dunk can't quite get to it. Uh, he's in still for Furious Sponge Bath and, uh, and has made the switch with Kojak, who's playing over on uh, over on third base. It's another base hit there. Yes, yeah, just come on. Come on, we need an out. Don't let this clown put it out of the park because that would be bad news. There you go. Down. Well, all right. I mean, there's, there's. Don't let this clown put it out of the park and then keep it legit at the same time. Same place, same thing. Go on, that's it. Good. Right now, try on a slow one and see if that causes accidents. No. Okay. Right. Let's send this one. Just inside ever so slightly. Uh, maybe. Mr. On. Throws to first. Side retired. Okay. All right. Took a little bit of defensive posturing there, but we did get the job done. Uh, Cindy Vapid will be leading the way for us uh, in this campaign. Batting 500 with a home run in the playoffs. That's pretty solid stuff from Cindy. Uh, but, you know, it, this... This is probably going to be one of those games where she just underperforms the entire time. Uh, and that's okay too. It's, o it's okay. We, we can't expect maximum performance in every game. That's pretty solid. Okay, thank you, Cindy. Rocks it up to first. All right, next. Here's Hatchet Malibu. Hat Malibu's confidence is not exactly on... Uh, action stations at the moment she's she's feeling a little bit less for less confident than you would like that one was too high hatch you should have left it okay all right these things happen uh, a, a nice big hit but uh, but swinging at something that was too high here's uh, ulysses failure he's he's on a bit of a redemption curve at the moment but i don't know if that's going to continue today he's uh, he's not been at his best in the series so far, but uh, we'll... Well, it, this is a fresh series, effectively. So, is the playoffs, let's say. 
Not at his best. No. Yeah, he shouldn't have swung at that. No, that's okay. That's fine. Oh, come on. Umpire, that was low. You know it was low. And uh, failure there strikes out. Uh, Papal Event Horizon is uh, only hitting 286. So we, uh, we need a big game from him today. That isn't it. And that's out number three. All square at the end of one. And uh, both teams may be a little bit nervy. Bulldozer Power obviously looking more nervy because that was not a good performance from them. Uh, but Vivian is uh, looking... Uh, Vivian. Um, uh, uh, what's her name? Cindy. I don't know what's going on with my, my names lookup da database table in my head there, but I'm, I'm having some trouble fishing out the right name at the right time. Cindy's probably looking quite smug because she got a hit. There you go. That's all I was going to say there. All right. Drew two fouls. Viv, if your special feature is that you draw fouls out of people, then that's great. And that's a strikeout. Viv Crumble there, pleased. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks. 143 batting average. Ooh, steady on there, Thor. Yeah. And a, a nice, uh, a nice uh, strike there that fooled the batter. I mean, you, it doesn't really matter whether it fooled the batter or not, really, does it? Because... They just stood there. Ball one. Come on, do something magnificent. That's nice. Uh, can Papal get to it? Papal can get to it. Papal got it. Papal's got it. Out number two. Orbital Velocity is uh, the catcher. Uh, also has yet to have a bat in the uh, in the playoffs. Or maybe has had several at-bats, but, uh, but has failed to hit anything. Either way... A, a virginal canvas of numeric qualification going on there for uh, for whoever it is. Uh, orbital velocity. Oh yeah, orbital velocity. What a what a name. Something to conjure there. We are at home, hence all of the yellow shirts in the crowds. I, I think you possibly ascertained that for yourself, but uh, uh, it's all good. Zoltan. He's got it. Pretty casual about it too. Out number three, and uh, still no score. As we look to uh, Big Rod McGurk, who is uh, is also feeling the pressure a little bit. He, he didn't manage to do anything for us last week. Let's hope that changes today. Strike one. Come on, Rod. No. Oh, dear. All right. All right. Come on, Rod. Come on. That's a high one, Rod. Could have left it. Yeah, I know, but I had two strikes on me and not enough balls. I was, I was feeling no. He's out again. Here comes Zoltan, batting 7-14 in the playoffs, and he looks like a man confident in his abilities. That's never a good sign uh, for Bulldozer Power, because that usually means that uh, a bad situation is liable to occur. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what we've got. Strike two. Zoltan, he's just, he's just standing his ground. Another high one being swung at. They're getting us on those all the time. Yeah, they are. They are getting us on those all the time. Two strikes, then throw a high one. <sighs> Is Steve Mori okay? Now, Big Steve was a uh, a galvanising figure for many seasons. Uh, he ate all the pies and he hit the ball really hard on a regular basis. That was in no way a strike, you clown. Just come on, Steve. That's the full count there for Steve Mori. And he's, he's not going anywhere. Oh, well, we soaked up some pitches at least. I mean, tiring out the pitches, not the worst thing you can do. And at the end of two, the deadlock remains. It's still zero to zero. Uh, Javier Sensation is their pitcher, and he's next up to bat. And they're going to keep him in. Viv, keep it simple. Strike one. Okay, good. Yeah, how's that? That's a ball. Didn't didn't have enough swing on it. Your, your junk pitching isn't good enough, uh, Viv. You, you can't get as much ball transition as you might like. Strike two. Oh, try, if anyone's going to bite on it, it'll be this guy. Well, he, he, he bit on that quite hard, and he's he's chewed the corner off it. Uh, we just let the pitcher get a two-base hit. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, old dear is right. All right. Viv, retire your change-up. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Not quite enough velocity on your fastball for the change-up to fool anybody. Just kind of goes like a slightly less fastball. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Yep. 
McGurk falls on the floor. And uh, and that will put a runner on third and a runner on first. No outs. This is a dangerous position for BDP. They, uh, they are going to need to find their way back into this game. Failure's going to get to that, but they're going to go for the uh, for the run. Failure with a throw. Nope, they don't have the belief in their pitcher to actually make the distance, which was possibly wise. Here's Party Boy. He's batting 538 in the playoffs. He's a dangerous character and no mistake. And we're going to try and uh, deal with him. Malibu. Oh, dives underneath. Unfortunate. And that's a run, and the score is opened up. Serving drinks to all and sundry uh, for those who like to drink from the fountain of scoring. That one's gone skyward. Big Steve's gone underneath it. You'd hope. There you go. The catcher catches one. Next up, Horatio Gunship. He got nothing from his first at bat, but uh, we've got runners on first and second now. And, uh, all right, well, Steve got that one as well. And that's out number three. Well, perhaps danger averted there, but we still gave up a run, and that's not what you want to see. Uh, Kojak will be leading us off. She's only batting 125 in the playoffs. That is not good. Could be that uh, sitting this low down the batting order is, is playing havoc with her, her capabilities. Now, forget I spoke. No, Kojak there, answering my criticism with a, all right, fine, I'll, I'll get a hit. Shut up, would you? Here's Viv Crumble. Well, let's not expect too much from Viv. She's got a little batting token here that is the smallest thing in the world. And uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna take some pitches. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, not interested. Because I don't want two outs, you see. Don't, we don't want don't to force a double play. No. What's bunt? Is it that? Oh, it's B. B, B, B button for bunt. I'm on the Xbox controller. Okay, well, I'll, I'll know that next time. Uh, Cindy, back round for a second swing. And uh, she's got Kojak on first. One out. That's unhelpful. Cindy Nevapid now looking less smug than she did after her first at bat. Uh, as she got us all out. And uh, that's the end of three innings. Uh, rattling through them at a fair rate. Here's Constance Frenzy. Uh, tense is the description for Constance Frenzy. And an actual nice pitch that was on target from Viv Crumble, but it was hit. Which just says, why why bother trying to hit the target? Just, just keep it in the strike zone. It, it really doesn't matter whether it goes where you're aiming or not. There you go, ball one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. Nice. And they've taken second. Cheeky baggages. Uh, right, okay. Uh, what's the count? One and one is the count. Runner on second now. And that one's that one's going to cause us some trouble. We'll get it down to home. Runner on third. Well, Stardozer are... Uh, they're making it happen. They're, they're causing us all kinds of problems. And... Uh, Viv Crumble is not looking as capable as we might have hoped. They do have a train rolling right now. Have a sensation. Uh, got a double from his first at bat. And uh, and you could well say that that was the point at which the trouble started. Okay, we've gone for the bunt. Take the easy. There you go. All right, out number one. Advance the runners. But we've, we've got to make some plays. Like some good ones at that. All right, uh, Event Horizon's looking for it. Have you got it there? Yeah. Watch the run to home. And uh, that's another run. Yeah, even if I had thrown to the cutoff there, which is not something I typically do, uh, we wouldn't have got there in time. So that's another run. And uh, the uh, the Bulldozer Power Defense is going to have to, you know, defend. Anything like that. Anything useful. Kojak. Not even close. That one's fair. And uh, that's another run. Yikes. Well, they've only got a, run, a, a batter, a, a runner. Oh, yes. Their batter has moved to first base, making him now a runner. And uh, it doesn't really matter. We've given up three runs in this inning. And as yet, our batters have not shown up. Oh, flaming Eck is another one. 
Yeah, no, that's, that's another run gone there. They stuck that in the most awkward place possible, and that's not the cleanest throwback ever. All right, here's Justine Underworld. And, uh, well, for a home game, this is going surprisingly poorly. But we are playing one of the best teams in the league right now. Uh, which, apparently, we're one of the best teams in the league right now. I'd, I'd say that the, the, the evidence is pointing differently to that. Where's that one going, Viv? You don't really know, do you? Everything that leaves your hand at the moment, you don't know where it's going. Ball three. Viv, just keep it simple. No, no, you've got to keep pitching. There you go. We want an out here, please. I mean, we've wanted an out for a little while now. This is the uh, 64th pitch from Vivian Crumble today. Yeah, that's another foul. She's had enough. She's, we're taking her out at the start of the next, uh, the ne the next pitching run we have. Will you stop hitting it foul? Come on, Justine, if that is your name. All right, Viv Cindy Vapid with a diving catch puts it away. Thank you. All right, but that was terrible. We gave up four runs. And uh, Stardos now lead five to nothing. Hatchet Malibu to lead the way on the batting. Well, we're going to need to get a, uh, a points train going. That's not how you do it. And that's out. Hatchet there, departed. Is failure batting 333 in the uh, in the playoffs so far? He but he hits at the low one as well. He is a quick character though, not quick enough. Two outs off two balls. Papal Event Horizon is not going to hit the first ball. Thank you. Right, let's go. There we are. Yeah, ball two. Papal standing his ground. As a strike. Yeah. Oh, a bit late on the swing. That was too high, and you know it. Full counts. That one might might have been... Uh, what does it really matter? Oh, we got a base hit off that because Justine Underworld couldn't catch. Here's Big Rod McGurk with an opportunity to redeem himself in the eyes of the fans. Swings a high one there. I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I shouldn't do that. And Bulldozer of Power still yet to get off the scoreboard. In fact, we've only got two hits so far today. It's a ruddy disaster. And uh, Viv Crumble's going to be substituted. Because, uh, well, she's had enough. Uh, right, what have we got? Tulip Banter. Yeah. What about the Conservative? He only just... He, he did in the last... Look, we might need him yet. Okay, so let's let's put Banter in. And, uh, and see how we get on. Okay. I mean... Uh, a pitching changeover in the fifth inning. That's not desirable. Uh, okay, that first one's gone our way, though. Uh, a short infield there to Hatchet Malibu throws the first, and that's out. Uh, Constance, Constance Frenzy up next. Uh, wearing a football helmet. And, uh, well, let's, uh, let's see how we go. It's actually closer to a cricket helmet, to be fair. But, uh, you know, it could be a football helmet if, if that's the way you like to wear a football helmet. You never know. Yeah. And... And that's out. Yeah, you can complain all you like there, madam, but you've gone. Uh, here's Thor Haystacks, who last time around decided to just continually hit uh, uh, fouls, which was very boring. Uh, right, come on. That's it. Yep, that's good. Right, finish her. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. There. Nice. That's not a ball that was in. Oh, come on. Referee. What about that one? Slide it through. Nope, nothing doing. Uh, back to the fastball. Yeah, sure, why not? No, that's not ideal. Yeah, this is fielding practice, McGurk. I'm going to make you dive as much as possible. All right, that one's got a Cindy. Throws to first. Out number two. Out number three. Out number whatever. Uh, they're all out. But we still trail by five, and someone somewhere has got to start scoring. Uh, here's Zoltan. He likes that. Yes, he does. Zoltan, onwards, son. Onwards. Be quick about it. Good lad. There we go. And Zoltan opens us up with a double. Good. Right, here's Big Steve. Uh, much like the rest of the team, Big Steve, nothing from his first at bat. We'll, uh, we'll see if he's got some life in him, though. Because uh, we're, we're in a better position than we've been for a while. Big Steve puts that one complicated. 
he's out though. And they got a double play. Oh my goodness me. Oh, that was... I mean, it was an exceptional piece of fielding, frankly. And Zoltan had overcommitted. No, no, we're now swinging at the high stuff. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, gave that guy a concussion. All right, it's Kojak. Well, if anyone could turn it around. What? Well, it's probably not Kojak. She's not been playing well lately. No, she hasn't. It's true. It's true. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. And uh, that one's going foul and probably going to be caught. Good times. Well, the, the, what looked promising there for a moment turned out to be not. And Bulldozer Power is still down five to nothing here at the end of five. Orbital Velocity is up first uh, for Stardozer, and uh, we've got to we've got to dig deep. Yeah, we've got to got to dig very deep, as deep as can be. Well deep. We're going to need a drill. That's how deep we're going to need to dig in order to get ourselves back into this game. But as you know, there, Bulldozer Power regulars, it only takes one inning for the uh, the likelihood of anything to... Uh, just... You can't get the players. No. I mean, trying to catch it with paper was a bit, you know, optimistic, but Hatchet should have dropped back a little bit quicker. Here's the pitcher again. Really? They're still keeping him in? Oh, that's just cocky. Yep, yeah, it is. Yeah, don't you bunt at me, sunshine. I don't. Uh, I don't look favourably upon such things. Well, I've gone for the bunt. All right. Well, you're out then, aren't you? I mean, yeah, they got to advance a player, but even so, still out. Is uh, Margot Spatula? She's had a single and a run batted in there, and uh, presents a very slender profile with her batting stance. It's probably wise means it's uh, it's more difficult to hit her with a pitch deliberately. Accidentally anything can happen, but I've not Oh McGurk, you just you Words fail me, McGurk. That's how much of a disappointment you are to the team. Uh it's Bernard Dunk. Alright, Bernie, how's it going? Well, no outs, runners at the corners, and uh, we're gonna need something here out of Tulip. And and uh, they've just stolen second as well. Yeah, time to give it back. We've got them on CCTV. I've called the police. They're going to come round and they're going to they're going to bring your mum in, and uh, it's going to be quite an uncomfortable conversation for you to have. Bernard Dunk strikes out. That's the stuff we want to see. And uh, a break there for Bulldozer Power. Still got runners second and third, third and second, second, third, and both of those bases. And Herg Party Boy is up next. Sorry, <sighs> Party Boy is up next, and. Uh, well, he is probably their most prolific hitter. So we've got to do something good. Well, you've drawn two fouls out of him. Yep, that's pretty strong. Right, let's put that just about there if we can. Nice. Steve, 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 Steve. Steve Morrie, everybody. Broken bat and Steve Morrie with a catch. Uh, a nice bit of tactical play there for once. And uh, we avoid any more damage being done. Is Sir Tulip Banter coming in for a bat? Why are we in? Six. Yeah. All right. She gets to bat. Okay. All right. Ball one. That's the 50th pitch for Sensation. Strike one. Ball two. Yep. Whatever, mate. Come on. Thank you. And uh, a lovely, a lovely piece of batting work there from Tulip Banter. She's way too slow. She's not going to make it a second in time. Uh, the speed of run from my pitcher there, not all that. Uh, but a single was very nice indeed. Here comes Cindy Vapid again. Well, what's, uh, what's she going to do for us this time? She got everybody out last time. We don't know, do we? No, we don't know. We're just going to have to find out. Yeah. Sensation there, slightly off target. He looks to me like he might be their number one pitcher. Uh, but regardless, we, we want to tire him out as much as possible because otherwise we'll be seeing him again in another game in this series. That's the full count. Cindy unrattled. And she gets the walk, which is what we were looking for. Uh, runners now first and second is Malibu. Well, 
Uh, Malibu has not been playing well, but uh, maybe she can turn this around. Let's strike one. Yeah. That was that was not a strike, ump. That one was definitely not a strike. We'll leave that alone. And uh, and this more patient approach might pay off as we load the bases. The bases are now loaded. No outs. Bases loaded. Bulldozer power suddenly looked like something could happen, especially if the big man here can uh, can knock it out over the fence. Come on, over the fence. That's what we want. That'll put us straight back in the mix. Strike two. All right, he's waiting, waiting for a golden pitch. That'll do. And we get a run. And the bases are still loaded. And Bulldozer Power are off the mark. Finally, we probably could have got two in there, but it doesn't really matter. We got one in. And uh, here's Papal Event Horizon, who's been cold, but waiting for his moment. This, I would say, if he needed signposting, no, that's not going to happen. Everybody back. There you go. There you go. Not worth it. We could have, could have possibly advanced the lead runner there and got another hit, uh, uh, another, you know, run. Well, is McGurk and he's a disaster area. Yeah. Seventieth pitch uh, just made there. Oh, it's trouble. It's big trouble. McGurk gets everyone out. Goodness me, I, he's a disaster. We can't stand him. I'm going to take him out next time he's in. That's it. I'm done with him. No, stuff you, McGurk. You're absolutely flipping hopeless. Uh, and a massive opportunity there. Shattered to smithereens. Uh, as Big Rod McGurk is a big disappointment. And uh, is being bo booed by all the fans in the stadium. I hope you can hear them. Uh, they're saying some very rude things. You might want to cover the ears of your small children. Uh, meanwhile, Chillip Banter is a 2-2 two two count here against Justine Underworld. And that's a strikeout. Chillip there coming up with the goods. And uh, his Horatio Gunship. 0 for 3 so far today, which means that he's going to hit this one out of the park. Good catch there, Steve. Good work. I mean, it pretty much hit you in the glove, man. I mean, what do you want? Flipping roadmap. Ball, glove, put the two together. That's really your job. Uh, one on one is the count. Uh, Chilip's throwing has been a little bit off piste uh, against this batter for the moment. So let's try and put something on piste again. That's better. That one's gone to Hatchet, who will throw casually to first. And that's uh, another out. As Evil Can Evil drives by my window. Don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's some teenager driving a blue bottle in a jam jar uh, right strike one this is uh, constant's frenzy two outs now uh here at the top of the seventh failure's got it out number three okay nice clean inning and to be fair that's three in a row now where where bulldozer powers uh defense has actually come up with what we wanted to uh here's big zoltan doesn't waste any time he's put that one awkward and, uh, and Zoltan's going for a trundle. Makes it all the way to second. That's, a, that's called a trundle. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how Zoltan runs. But Steve Mori next. Hi, right, Steve. Just a base hit, Steve. Just a base hit is all we really need. Well, Steve's out, but we have got a runner in scoring position now. Kojak just needs a single. Uh, or, you know, we need to be clever on our timing. And we can have another run. Thank you, please. Kojak, Mr. On with a single, will get us our second run of the afternoon. And we close the gap to three. It's, ah, oh, it's tense stuff. It's Tulip Banter. She's locked in and she's pitching well. We're going to keep her on the field. Uh, it would be nice to get a single off this Tulip. No, Tulip decides to swing at the first one, which was too high. She went for the fence. She got caught. That's life. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Okay, Cindy Vapid now. She's had a single and a walk so far today. Uh, what can she do for us? Anything, Cindy? Strike one. Okay. That's a ball. 78 pitches thrown now by uh, by Javier Xavier. Xavier Sensation. That's ball three. 
he's not looking as sharp as he was in earlier innings and that's another walk Cindy finding herself with an easy peasy and I think they might be thinking of subbing him they're not as yet here is uh, Hatchet Malibu one of the more erratic players on the team is Hatchet sometimes she's good often she isn't that was a nice pitch. She swung too late, though, which gives us two strikes. There's ball two. It was a high one. Hatchet swung at it, but I think it was in the strike zone, so she didn't have much of a choice in the matter, and that's out number three. And once again, leaving runners on base. Bulldozer Power are going to have to ask themselves, how often can we do this and, and hope to get away with it? Because I would say not as often as we're trying to get away with it. Well, we've, we've tried to get away with it several times. We've probably left about 15 runs on base so far. And uh, and that's not going to get you into the big game. That's not going to have people collecting your souvenir program. Cindy, not even remotely in the same country, that dive. But it was worth a try. If your uniform comes out clean, you haven't played hard enough. Uh, here's Orbital Velocity. Two singles and a run batted in. 2.22 batting average during the playoffs. Uh, so Velocity appears to have found their mojo uh, as a result of, of rocking up here in this game. Kojak fluffs it. Bigly. Big fluff from Kojak Mister on there. Hit her in the arm. Completely failed to make any significant headway. And we're now pitching, we're now pitching to the pitcher again, who they seem determined to try and let them pitch all nine innings, which would be rather humiliating for us. But I have a, I, I reckon they'll take him out before too long. Viv, stick a couple of these on target, would you? Because he's mucking about showing bunt the entire time. There it is. All right. Okay. Always take the easy out. Don't second guess yourself. Grab the easy out, even though it lets them advance the runners. Because it's better that than not catching out the runners. Yeah, because then you've got two people in. This is true. Yeah, I know. That's why we do it. That's why we're here. That's a big hit. The runner on third is waiting their time. They've made the move. The ball's in motion. And it's just too slow. And that's a run for Stardoza. As uh, Bernard Dunk comes up, they've got uh, a runner on third, and it's two outs. Tulip Banter now trying to figure out exactly what's going on. I'm playing baseball, Tulip. All right, you've been doing reasonably well so far. Let's try and keep it that way. All right, okay, reasonably well. Yeah. Strike two. That was a good pitch. If we could if we could land them when we wanted it every single time, that'd be grand. Hatch it. Had the opportunity and blew it. Bad throwback, which is going to give up a double. Oh dearie me. And uh, and the collapse is real, friends. Uh Bulldozer Power are not gonna win this one. Kojak, not even. No. Not even. They're going for home. And Steve Murray drops the ball, allowing another run to get in there. Good, good. Yeah. No, I believe. Yeah, I'm wearing my I Believe t-shirt. So, yeah, I believe that this team is flipping rubbish today. Yep. Can we get this over with, please? Can I just uh, I, I, can I just take a MacGuffin and uh, and say, nah, that's it. We're done. Thanks. Nah, I'll, I'll just take the loss. We've had enough. Thanks, though. Yeah, yeah, GG. All of that. Um, but we're not going to get six runs. Although, if we do, it would be exciting, wouldn't it? All right, back in. The faith is real. Ulysses' failure. Swings at the first pitch. It's too high, but he swung at it anyway because that's how we're going to win. And he's out. Here's Papal Event Horizon. 0 for 3. Waiting for his redemption moment. Still waiting for it. Still, still waiting for it to happen. And uh, that's not it. Nope. All right, here is Big Rod. Oh, hold on. They've, uh, they're have they bringing in Johan Tremendous, who is their best pitcher. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. Okay, I'll make it a substitution as well. Get out. You disgust me, McGurk. Uh, right. Yeah, we're bringing in Furious. He's not 100% he's not fit. 
Oh, it's this clown. Yeah, I've played against him before. All right, well, you know, Furious is out, but I'll be honest with you. So, what difference did that make? I mean, absolutely none. Furious is now playing at first base. I think I might want to. Uh, I want to just switch switch the position, uh, position swap. Furious sponge bath. Yes, with Kojak Mistral. Confirm. There we go. Let's put them on their correct bases. Uh, right. Okay. Right, Tulip. What you got for us? I mean, I could bring in Prod if you like, uh, but I'd sooner I'd sooner wrap things up with you. Actually, I'm go I am going to bring in in Prod and so Tulip's arm. Um, that way, because we we aren't exactly overflowing with uh, with re with relievers at the moment. So uh, so let's get Prod in to finish them off. All right, come on, Prod. Let's uh, let's take my school. Give him double maths homework. That's out number two, and uh, that uh, that allows Thor Haystacks to enter the scene. Strike one. Lovely job. Oscar Cattle Prods. Strike two. Look at a zip on that one. That had some zip. Did that not have some zip on it? That's in the wrong place. She swung at it, though. What a clown. Uh, and she's gone. Well, this leaves Bulldozer Power with just one inning and a deficit of six runs. Here's Zoltan Zoltan. He's had two doubles today from his three at-bats. That's nice. He swings at the first pitch because uh, I think the writing is largely on the wall and Zoltan is gone. Here's Steve Mori. He's been playing very badly. But there it is. Yeah, had Zoltan been a little bit more patient? What do you think, Big Steve? Big Steve's going for it all. He's there. A double from Steve Mori. Yeah, a bit more patience from Zoltan there, and we could have been we could have been having a moment. Uh, here's Kojak. Well, she's had a couple of singles today, but that's not the kind of play that's going to get us back into the running here. Uh, two balls. Tremendous there. Having difficulty. That's in an awkward place. And it is. And we'll go for home. Didn't make it. Big Steve there. Uh, the pies laying heavy on Big Steve. All right, uh, Oscar. No, you're not going to get to pitch. I'm sorry, uh, to bat. No, we're going to bring uh, we're going to bring Veronica on. Yeah, 27 feet tall, tiny little feet. Uh, that was the greatest pitch I've ever seen in my life, and I had my timing wrong. Okay, come on, Veronica. Come on. Wallop. Well, yes, and then no. Well, okay, uh, we've been put out of our mercy, uh, out of our misery there, a uh, mercy killing uh, for Bulldozer Power, and it's and it's all over, eight to two, the final score, and uh, we never looked good, not once. There was no looking good at any part of uh, of today's escapade, and uh, it's just bad news all round. Nothing but bad news. Uh, Tulip Band played quite well uh, from her four point one innings pitched. Yeah, uh, Vivian Crumble didn't didn't play so well. No, not so well. There you go. That's, that's the story. Your three stars: Herg, Party Boy, Bernard Dunk, Javier Sensation. No member of Bulldozer Power anywhere to be seen, and it's hardly surprising. So we've got some games to catch up on in the conference finals. Game one of the Axemen against the Beekeepers, and uh, we're looking at DJ Doughboy pitching against Shuji Freak. Uh, the beekeepers off to a big lead early on, and uh, they win that one five to two, which brings up our next game. Well, we've got to do something. Ominous Bob's up in the pitching rotation, but I'll tell you something for nothing. I don't think so. And we have to win. We have to win. We can't lose this. If we lose this game, it's all over. It's the end of the season. If we win the game, it goes to an exciting third game. But will it? Who knows? Tune in next time to find out. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to the channel if you can bear to. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Cheerio.